Okay, old people, don't adjust your sets. I am back on the air. Uh, okay, some things to get you caught up on because I'm not going to make a bunch of videos anymore. I just make once one in a great well. One, I thought I was done, but I'm not. Two, I was up to 1,800 views, but when you throw a bunch of crap out that you don't need on your channel, YouTube now plays a new game. It's called Punish You by Taking Your Views Away. And I'm like, okay, B3. B3. I don't care. <laughs> so it was up to 1,800. I lost about 400 views by throwing out crap we didn't need on the channel. Boo and who? I shall live. Uh, three, this computer is going bipolar. It now only wants certain devices plugged in at certain times. Utter joy. Four, I tried to play a fantastic game for the other channel, people that are here from the other channel. And I swear to freaking God, anything that's made to crash on purpose, and yes, it's per the design of the game, you know I can't record it with Bandicam, so it's a great game. Go check it out. I won't say the title because I'll start to cuss and we're no longer allowed to cuss on um, YouTube because it's Mr. Rogers' freaking neighborhood. Well, if you're an Markiplier or you have a unit, you can cuss because the rule's a double standard. You might as well learn that now if you're a child. The rule's a double standard. Men are allowed to cuss. And they won't get demonetized. Watch. Seriously, watch. Like, guys' videos where they cuss, they don't get demonetized. I went back through my videos on this channel. Uh, videos where I cussed, I got demonetized. Videos where I said words like gay or, and, and I'm talking about being gay or something like that. I got demonetized and I was told it was not appropriate for children. I'm like, one, this is a channel for adults. Um, YouTube is not now family friendly. Go take your burn -a fight disney fight self and floof yourself. <laughs> <laughs> rah, rah, rah. But uh, the channel is back online because, um, and here comes the part where they demonetize this video. Um, what a lot of Lokians will say, and when you first get into dealing with Loki, and maybe you will never deal with him, um, there are different titles they will always put with the word, but the word bitch will be in there somewhere because. And this has nothing to do with being gay. This is not his openly gay path. Don't get this don't get this one wrong. This is a straight path. He has a bitch path. I call it his imperial majesty of being a bitch or the imperial bitch or whatever, something bitch. But um that is the one that decided to fight with me over closing the channel and decide to fight with me over the room design. Oh my god. You think girls are bad when they do it, when Amanda decides to be a bitch? Oh, honey. You ever watch HGTV back early in the day, and you watch those couples fighting, and you watch the man lose his damn mind over uh, paint chips and everything? Yeah, I know they're going to monetize it. Bite me, you two. And you're wondering why guys care suddenly? Because men usually walk into a room and... It's like they're blind. They couldn't tell you one color from another. And like men traditionally, traditionally the male role is they don't care about design. And you know that's true. Traditionally the male role is males don't care about design. It's usually something that's thrown onto the female until recently males are suddenly supposed to care about design as well. And at the time, HGTV, here were these straight males suddenly obsessing over paint color. It's like, the hell, dude? Why are you getting like this? You're like the, the queen and king of all bitches that were ever born. Because a woman's like, honey, listen to me. I'm a woman. What we need on this wall is rose. And the guy would be like, it has to be Amber! And she would just be looking at him like, where did the queen of the bitches come from? And usually the queen of the bitches would win. Because when a man becomes a bitch, honey, you ain't gonna win. You just are not gonna win because it's like his head spins and fire comes out and, it, it, and it's terrible. And there's just this, this rage and you're not gonna deal with it. And that is not a knock against men. It's just, 
and men know what I'm talking about. It's like a man knows what I'm talking about. Uh, sometimes men call... It's not like what men call being pissy, by the way. It's like when a man decides to be a bitch. It's not like when a woman decides to be a bitch. It's two, di two completely different categories. A woman deciding to be a bitch and a man deciding to be a bitch are two totally different categories. When a man decides to be a bitch, everybody better run. Because he going to just completely destroy everybody in the vicinity. And... He's not going to do it physically or anything, but you better run because he's going to win. And all these episodes of these early shows would end the same way. The guy would just, he would be completely normal, heterosexual male until they started the um, makeover of the house or the room or whatever. And then Super Psycho Bitch would show up in his personality and Super Psycho Bitch would dominate the um, makeover. And, um, not all men have this part of their personality, but a lot of them did. A super psycho bitch would just, like, completely kill and devastate the entire cast. Because he had that strong part of his personality. And the thing was, it was usually beautiful, and he knew what the hell he was talking about. And the end result was beautiful, and you'd be like, damn. <laughs> and at first, people that weren't in the gay community mistook it for, like, being gay. And it was, it was not being gay. It was just there's like something to this part of the male personality. This bitch part of the personality. That he's mean. He's sarcastic. But when the bitch takes over, um, he's usually right. And you should usually listen. It's, it's not a bad thing. But it's a part of the personality that takes over when you better listen. And it, it's not like it's like he's going to punish you, but it's like you better listen. It's like as long as you listen when the bitch part is talking, he's fine because if the because like it completely took over the personality when the people listened. These guys were fine, but it was like the bitch completely took over until the person until the project was completed and then once the project was completed, that path of this guy's personality, and it was amazing to watch, would completely retreat in some guys. And some guys it wouldn't. Some guys it was like it was permanent. It, and it was actually good for them because it was like part of their personality they discovered. And it was, it was not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing in guys. It's not like it's negative. Like people say bitch and they think it's negative word. <laughs> YouTube's going to take us down. But it's not negative, but like when Loki's path shows up, and I didn't realize it was that part of his path showing up on this project at first, it's like Loki's bitch path is amplified. And um, it's not a bad path, but it's a path a lot of people like don't like to talk about because they hear that word. And usually in our Western culture, when we call someone a bitch, um, it's an insult, but it actually, the original etymology of the word is it was a compliment because it does mean female dog. And traditionally in like um, medieval times or even before that, you use a female dog, specifically you use a female dog that was had had pups or was going to have pups as a guardian for children and for other places you wanted well protected because it was thought she was more protective. You didn't use a male. You used a female because it was thought that bitch was more ferocious. She had female instincts, those maternal instincts to guard and be ferocious and come after you. Um, you know the line in Shakespeare about a mastiff bitch. Well, that's why. A bitch was a fierce spider. She was, you know, if you called a woman a bitch at one time, you were you were complimenting her. You were saying, you know, she knew where it was at and she was going to come after you. And, uh... That was a compliment. That meant she was in control of herself. She was mature. She was mature enough to have children. She was mature enough to protect them. And she was mature enough to know who she was and to fight and stand up for what she she believed in. And she was usually right. Because a dog's usually right. Dogs usually, usually don't make mistakes. I mean, you know, like a dog, if they're going to go after something, they're usually, they watch... And they'll give warning barks. They'll give warning barks usually before they attack. Or they are growl. Dogs don't usually, they're not an animal that usually just bites. And, you know, doesn't warn you. They'll usually actually give you, like, warning time. Most, you know, they're, they'll, like, give you that courtesy call. So, 
his sacred bitch path appear. Because this is sacred. It's not just Loki being, you know, in the modern sense, a bitch to be a bitch. It's like the bitch path appear for a reason. Because uh, I needed the guidance from that path. I mean, he's not like that just for no good reason. And well, I thought it was shutting down the channel that did so much good. Because we did need a lot of that bad energy that garbage that waste out of there and part of the energy of renovating the room and having to be able to destroy everything that was the room um helped get rid of that because literally like 200 plus videos went i believe and when this path shows up um he's blunt He's forceful. He will destroy things. This is the path that'll be like, oh, I, I, I will destroy things. And he, he will be a bitch to your face. Um, he, he will tell it like it is to you. And it, it will, it will hurt. <laughs> and he will, he will get into it with you. Uh, we were having like this screaming argument over this curtain. Because it turns out the person that was supposed to ship the curtain for this company lie to the boss and said yes boss man i took the curtain to the um place to mail it and i was like absolutely brass tacks on the other channel yesterday and it turned out they lied and the curtain was actually the catalyst for me to go ahead and get this whole room renovated like the curtain was really everything that started everything the bath mats were like they're bath mats. I mean, they're nice, but they were kind of like the complement to the curtain. And to find out that the one central hinge piece wasn't coming and that I was lied to and that all this time and hundreds of dollars and everything else I put into this renovation, hundreds of hours, hundreds of dollars, all this work was for nothing and they knew all this time and they're just telling me now after all these weeks and weeks and weeks of waiting and they're finally giving me mo money back now. And they had sold my curtains to someone else. There were only two ever made. One ever made, actually. Uh, my apologies. And they sold it to someone else. And his, remember I told you his review went up and I was so happy I had bought my curtain? I, I was beyond mad. And so I went into emergency mode and I got what curtains I had. And I had really cleaned up my house after my parents' death. And I did not have much. And I put up look like living hell. Excuse to hell for misusing her name, but she knows it's not her I'm talking about. And it looked like living hell, and the lights started to go haywire in that room. And somehow the one light had come loose up in the fixture. These lights I just got fixed. And um, long story short, I just I went back on, and Amazon's like, you can reorder that curtain. And I'm like, no, Amazon, you dipstick. This is the same person doing a bait and switch again, and you won't be able to order the curtain. It's like these people are kind of like troll companies now. The the product doesn't exist, um, and they'll put all these like thirty different companies, and they'll all be the same exact person from one area, and they'll literally have thirty different companies or shops all on Amazon. And unfortunately, everything I ordered for that room had come all from one person and i usually do know better guys but it was loki stuff and i wanted it so bad i just thought the gods had blessed me yeah they blessed me all right so we had quite the lovely chat about that last night and this morning <laughs> he bit my ears back for me which he should have but so i went ahead and i just ordered plain gold and no one is going to see that but everything is completely different in there now. If you had seen the room before, you would not recognize it. And I was just, I was just so livid. I was so angry because I don't like being lied to. I do not like being lied to. But everything in there is completely changed now. And I think it looks better. I hate the curtain that's up now. I absolutely despise it. But I was tired of just having the liner up. I was, and after I found out I'd been lied to, I was never getting my curtain. And I ordered from Amazon the curtain, so it might take a month for the basic curtain I ordered to come in. It's like just going to be a basic gold curtain. It's not going to be anything to look at. And so all my hard design and hard work, 
I'm just really upset because it will look okay, but it won't look special. Is what I was so upset about. And then it, I was still, Loki's bitch path was still in full effect. And I'm not saying that disrespectfully, it's a sacred path. And we had words over why was this one central curtain so important and I said because I had pinpointed design exactly and precisely to that curtain and I knew it was a mistake and I should have let myself a little more wiggle room I mean I pinpointed that design exactly down to like the microscopic level for that curtain and I knew it was a mistake because I knew if anything ever happened to that curtain I was going to be crying my eyes out. It's not like back when I was a child when, like, if you need to paint, you went and you spent a couple of dollars and you got a paint can. Paint is now a fairly expensive proposition. And I'm talking about cheap entry-level paint. I'm not, like, talking about, like, going out and getting Olympic gold medal paint. Um, and he asked me if I learned my lesson. And I said, yes, I did. I should have been more, you know open in the design and I didn't want to be I was so mule-headed and so pinpointed and I wanted it to look perfect for this one object in the room um it will look like it will look uh I regret the design choices now but um that will be my life's lesson uh, it is beautiful it and that's the thing the room is beautiful but it's like it's always going to be off because it was designed specifically for one item that actually does not exist and there's nothing you can do to recover from that because it, if you've ever designed a room you know what I mean if you design it for like say a door and the door gets destroyed and you can never replace that door for whatever reason and it was so highly designed for that door that it just will never match any other door you you floofed yourself and you floofed yourself hard so it will be okay with anything else, but it will not be perfect. And I do not like anything less than perfection. So I'm going to be an utter joy to live with until I calm down over this. But it is a lesson learned, and I think he was... That is why we were so contentious over this whole design process, because... One, he wanted it expanded, which it, it really did expand. And two, um, it, it was a mistake to, to have the design go the way I did. And I learned that part. So I did learn that part. But it is a good path to work with, which is the actual point of the video. There is an actual point of the video. It is a good point of the video to work with and um he saw that i learned the lesson and i'm going to be stuck with hundreds of dollars worth of work and he does have compassion in that path and he it was looking at me because he knew i wanted to cry because he knows defeat makes me <laughs> angry it makes me angry to the point where i'm going to cry if i'm going to cry it's actually like i'm thinking of getting a shovel or a gun or a weapon of some kind and like starting to hit people because there's actually nothing i can do to punish a seller a seller was honest enough to give me my money back but at the same time he was dishonest enough to do this in the first place i'm probably never going to see the bath mats <sighs> i've just had enough guys so I went ahead and I ordered that um, shower curtain. And gods know it'll probably take weeks for that to show up. And then Amazon is like, well, we don't have everything in your order. So it'll take us a couple weeks to like ship the liner. I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus Christ and the effing Latter-day Saints. Just ship the goddamn stuff you have. And, and, and I'm like, this goddamn project is cursed. Yeah, so I just... I don't care at this point. I don't care whatever it looks like. It looks like. And um, I, I learned my lesson. And it's why you don't pray sometimes to Loki for inspiration. He'll, he'll give you inspiration. But he'll give you a lesson too. And um, working with this path. <laughs> I'm working with the bitch path. He, he won't care. 
if it blows up in your face. He won't because it's not his job. It's not his job to care and like sit down with you and have a cookie and tea with you after it blows up in your face and is wrong and you have to live with something that looks like shit for the rest of your life because uh, you were not fully listening and you were, you know, headstrong and you were so driven on something. So it will look like shit. But, um, be that as it may, um, you know, I can always go out and buy black and paint everything black and I am damn headstrong enough to do that. I don't know. I, I'm not going to waste any more money on the project at this point. It's like, whatever comes in, comes in at this point. I don't give a damn. Um, I'm not going to show it to anyone. It, it looks fine, but it's like, at this point, I don't want to look at the damn thing. I'll walk in there. I do what I have to do. I walk out. Like, yesterday, I was in love with the room until this happened. And I'm like, you know what? Damn it. Screw it. Uh, I'm fucking done. I know. They're going to monetize this. I don't care. But, um... Yeah, it, that I can actually swear that I can actually use words. Yesterday I was so angry I could not use my words. And when a Gemini that can never shut up is so angry they can't talk, you know we're you know we're like pissed off. So there you go. I I still think this is a mistake. I still don't agree with him. I still don't think there should be a channel. I think it's a waste of time, mental energy. But he has a way of getting what he wants. So um, hopefully this will make him happy i sometimes wonder if anything makes him happy and um there's your update i'm not going to be showing anybody that room i think that's a waste of mental energy too and i don't like how it came out um i'm not happy um and uh that's it i won't be wasting any time with music videos or anything i think that's a waste of time too so uh unless something like earth shattering comes up or something i think you really need to know um, there won't be any more updates on the channel. I mean, it'll be an open channel, but it's like, unless there's something I direly think you need to know, I'm not going to be, like, sharing my thoughts or experiences or anything with you. Um, it's probably not something he agrees with, but um, I can't be making videos every five minutes. People don't care about stuff like that. Um, and I, I am logical. I'm like, well, there's no sense wasting the effort. Then you have to go back in and tear all that crap down because you know it just it clutters up the space so i will see you later um actually i'm fine i haven't shot anyone and i'm not in jail so you know i'm fine so i will see you all later and blessed be